Well, let me say first of all how important I think the whole creative industries discussion is in the UK, uh, and how important it is also that the definition of the creative industries in in the UK is broad enough to encompass publishing as well as television and the internet and the magazine culture and that we have quite a broad discussion of, of the creative industries and, and broadly defined our creative industries are as big a contributor to the GDP of this country as financial services were at their peak. So if we are looking for a sector of the economy to take up if you like the momentum that is obviously now flagging in the financial services sector then I think the creative industries are perfectly equipped to do that, and, and I say that because we are already in, in this country a world capital of creative activity in quite a number of sectors of media, including the performing arts as, as well as in um, written and digital media. So we have a very strong position. I think we have a strong natural talent as a country uh, for creative industries, and therefore I think it is a very logical platform on which we should be building in the United Kingdom. I think the big challenges out there are around piracy, uh, copyright protection, um, potentially damaging pricing models that, that if it becomes accepted that uh, the, the reward for creative activity is almost nothing because there are um, uh, people out there with business models which encourage them to give uh, content away for nothing, that is a, a threat, certainly. We mustn't lose sight of the need to keep regenerating traditional skills, editorial skills, curatorial skills. Uh, but the emphasis has really got to be on technology um, capability, on, on facility in working with new platforms, new forms of content, being responsive to new audiences. Um, and that is going to require, I mean, talking parochially about the publishing business, huge investment in skills and training and, and development in, in our industry just to keep um, ahead and that's a discussion that I think every area of the media sector needs to be having with with government what are the quality technology requirements and and how are they going to be addressed and, and met I think the government's got two principal responsibilities the, the first is to provide um, a regime for the protection of intellectual uh, property that is both very resilient and very nimble and responsive because this is a very very fast moving industry very fast moving situation the government is going to need to address fresh challenges fresh technology platforms uh, fresh sources of competitive um, threat to the uh, UK economy here quite quickly so I think it needs to be very robust in its approach to that and very nimble then I think the second thing it needs to uh, focus on is the development of the skills and talents that we need in this country to be truly competitive in the creative industries. And that may uh, require some tax incentives, but it's essentially around human skills and the development of those.